Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You. Today you join me with a great little film. So it's an unboxing. Um, I'm actually filming two unboxings today, but this is the first one of the two. So what are we here to, to look at? We're looking at the Sphere Zero G Power Partner. Now this is a lovely, lovely piece of kit. It's around 575 or around that bracket. It's a 10.5 meter standard, um, but it do, you can get uh, the extension to take it to 11.5 meters it's around 115 120 quid and it does interchange um, with the exosphere and the sphere, the sphere pt as well so um, it's uh, it's really useful if you, you've got those kind of poles and you're wanting something for down the edge or something that you can sort of throw about a little bit so first section obviously the main section with the fantastic graphics uh, with the sphere logos i'm obviously a browning uh, had a browning pole myself and you know obviously you get that fantastic feel from those top sections um these have got nose cones in there which are a separate option uh, but well worth it if you're spending this kind of money on on poles um sections the self each one of them comes with an alignment system and all of the sections are reinforced they've all got the, the sphere, brown, uh, sphere, sphere and Browning logo on there and the section number, um, so it makes it easy to see what you've got. Now, the difference in these poles for the top kits, obviously they're interchangeable with the other Sphere brands, is they've got this cool little uh, top kit. Now, this is actually your number one, uh, and this is your number two that sticks in it, and the short number two, um, and that makes it your top kit. But the way that this works, if you've got your number three section, for example, shoved into it, and again, reinforced on the male and female ends. So if you were to use this, say, as a margin kit and you wanted a bit longer power kit, you would take it off there and you've obviously got your side reinforcement to drill and put a puller in there. But if you wanted to have a shallow kit F1 fishing, then you wouldn't break it there. You would, so you go on your number three, you take it down a, a bit shorter and you break it there. So it's in a smaller kit and which has also got the reinforcement to put a puller kit in uh, on that number one section. So that's a real cool little bit of uh, ingenuity there um, from Browning. So it's a, with it being a multi-action. Um, also with the tip, it only comes with one top kit, but it has got the, the multi-bush system. So if you wanted a lighter elastic in, for example, you were fishing for those F1s, you want a six to ten in there then it's obviously got the bush in and you can pull the internal bush out and that gives you a bigger bar to roughly 14 to 16 elastic i wouldn't really go much more than that it's not classed as an out and out power margin pole with like a 20 elastic rating um, but it is an absolutely beautifully well balanced pole which we're going to do now is just flip over get on some rollers uh, we'll lift it waggle it show it around and see what it looks like to have a look down the line of it and also what it's like to pick up and uh, shake about right guys so we're just gonna have a walk down the the sphere power and uh, have a little look at it um, close up and down the line and then we'll obviously pick it up and have a look so as you can see it's super stiff I mean yeah it's resting on the rollers but you'll see when when we take it down how stiff it actually is um, when we're holding it and it really is a serious bit of kit I'll just get right down to the end and we can see obviously that internal bush where we can pull that out and then it becomes a bigger bar size and then we have that little insert that you can just push back in it's a bit tricky one-handed but there you go push back in and it's back to normal so let's get back up to the seat and give it a hole and a waggle right guys so seeing as we're spending lots of money on these poles to have a look at got the nice uh, two pound deck chair to uh, the garden chair to sit down on instead of my uh, expensive box but that's what we like quality quality and expenditure that's what we like so we're going to pick up this uh, this sphere and it's as you would imagine even sat on a chair straight as a die just tapping it there you can see the response is almost instantaneous which we would expect um, for this price racket um, you could easily fish over shallow uh, 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 this is at the 10.5 meters we're going to put on that little 
extra dolly butt section in, in a second and, and push it out, but there's no doubt that it's going to be no worse to hold than uh, than this is. And, you know, just feel feel solid. The wall strength feels good. Um, there's, the, the, you know, the TriCast that I, that I reviewed, uh, me and, and obviously other people that we've we've talked to about this also agreed that the, the TriCast does feel a little bit stronger, maybe wall strength wise, but to be honest, I don't, you're going to go hard to, to break this and it, it also interchanges like the maps, the sensors, the top kits also interchange as well, so if you want an F1 map shallow kit you could have one and obviously you can use the, the power kits if you're wanting to, to put a bigger bar in and a bigger elastic, um, but you know, absolutely so stiff and rigid it really it really is and responsive uh, let's get that extra extension on and we'll give it a go at that and see what that feels like right guys so the little mini extension this is from the sphere um obviously goes in to various sections of that pole and the number uh, the, the, there's a number six and a number seven side and it flips over and goes into the opposite end of this and lining up the number seven is the side that goes in to this pole so let's get on this little uh, chair of uh, expenditure and uh, see what that's like so as you'd imagine putting up another another meter onto it doesn't really change anything in regards to stiffness it's still super stiff super responsive um, like I would have expected it to be um, and I don't think even if you put any other kits on it would make any any much difference to to you know the bounce or anything like that I think uh, because this has got that double that double kit effectively where you can decide if you want a shorter or a longer um, you could just buy map f1 shallow kits with this um, and use those or you can use the browning kits um, that interchange from the other pole so as you'd imagine you know still super light you know one-handed you can hold it one hand you know fishing it out like that it's it's really light and this these uh, these end extensions i used to have some on on my browning pole obviously not the more not as expensive as the sphere range but uh, they were absolutely solid so you can bet you bet your dollar that they're going to be just as solid for uh, for these more flagship models so uh, let's put it on the uh, the rollers have a little round up and uh, see my thoughts uh, on this uh, zero uh, g sphere Right guys, so what do I think of the Browning Sphere Zero G Power Partner? Amazing bit of kit. I mean, just under 600 quid, you know, it, it, it's, it's a great pole. Adding that extra section to it, and especially if you've already got the Sphere pole itself, um, is a really good tool to interchange. If you've got a load of map shallow kits and things like that, or a lot of people are selling them in bundles and they're not massively expensive, again, you can interchange those and they fit on the same mandrel, which is really easy and, and, a, and a cheap um in a, inexpensive way of getting extra top kits they're only about 40 quid um something like that so you know really really easy to get hold of as well which is also a bonus because sometimes you get these flagship models and you can't get all the top kits or they're 120 130 plus quid and um, you can obviously get a, a plethora of different brands that do fit it so that is a really big plus side browning myself having dealt with browning um were really quick when i had any issues um, and getting things back so again that's obviously a really good uh, thing to think about when you're buying into a browning pole and come with a lot of uh, world championship heritage as well um so yeah as you'd imagine a fantastic bit of kit uh, for the money comes with a nice little hold all as well which we, i haven't got with me at the moment but comes with a, a fantastic uh, little hold all as well which is always a bonus the only downsides i would say was just having that one top kit unless you've already got a sphere or some other kits hanging about one top kits not not that many obviously if you uh, for even for for the, for the most average of people that are fishing just pleasure wise you want two or three kits but like i said you don't have to spend a million pound on getting those extra kits i would definitely recommend getting that extension uh, just for when you need that little bit further if you're fishing shallow out in front of you or a little bit further down the edge just that extra reach um is really helpful for sake of a couple of you know just over 100 quid so yeah thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, we've got another one on the main sphere pt pole and um, if that's not up already have a look look out 
and wait for that one to come through because that one's going to be a really good one as well. Um, the sort of big brother of, uh, of, of the mini miniature version. So no doubt that's going to be good. We'll get that right out to 16 metres and have a look through that and the kit and the package that that comes with as well. Um, join us on the Instagram at angling underscore for you if you want to share some photos and see what we're up to. Been doing a lot of different fishing all over the rivers and things like that. So there's lots of interesting and fun stuff, including challenges coming. So keep your eyes out for that. Thanks a lot for watching. If you could share, like, and subscribe to your friends, stick on that bell icon and you won't miss any of the new uploads that we're doing. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Stay safe. Till the next one, tight lines.